kids, are you ready for your lesson today? It's going to be a good one. The lesson for today is how can we help one another when trouble comes? Through this lesson, we will learn that there are a lot of ways that we can be of help to our community in terms of our church, our home, and our school life. The memory verse that we're going to focus on primarily today is John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, do not be afraid. After reading John chapter 14 verse 27, I would encourage you to also read 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 to 5. It also talks about how God comforts us and also gives us the ability to comfort others. We're going to do a little bit of discussion here. Who comforts us when we are in times of trouble? It's God. God comforts us in our times of trouble and He gives us the ability to also comfort others. How can you be of comfort to others in times of trouble? What you can do is also share your story with others. You can also pray for your friends and family members who are in trouble and also invite them to church if you're able to. And one thing that um, I learned was that nobody can argue with your story and you can always share how God has come through for you and that can hopefully be a source of encouragement to others. Who is it to bear the feelings of the weak? The strong. The strong is supposed to help those who are in, in, in their weak to help um, carry their burdens and help them along the journey to find their strength again. So, what did we learn from this lesson? We learned that we can use our experiences to enable others to go through their experiences. We can share our problems with them and we can also help them along the way by praying for them and um, hearing them out um, and helping them regain their strength back again. Just know that God gives you the peace and comfort to also not only keep for yourself, but also be of help to your community. Like I said, in your home life, in your school life, and in your church life. Thank you very much and have a great day. Until next time, be safe and don't forget, read your Bibles. Bye.